Do you all remember where we last were? Mm-mm. Morgan? Oh, wait, I do. We I was had trying. just finished fighting the guy. We were the dragon duty ran away. And then and then we <laughs> talked to the merchant man. And we were just heading yeah, off. Yeah, the trinket man. Mm-hmm. Malachi and Carr have decided to go off on their own. Um, leaving you three, uh, you, James, and Ghost. Ghost has somehow disappeared again. Well, he just has a tendency to do that, huh? Really? I don't remember when he ended up on the dragon when I first saw him. How'd he get there? I dragged him on. Mm -hmm. Uh, um continuing to walk off in the distance maybe about a mile or two off you see the city what you can assume to be is the city and you see a lot of buildings like it is a it's a large small city there's a lot of buildings in a small area Well, look at that. Is there anything that you three would like to do? I'll start walking toward the sea. Uh, I see that you guys are texting in group chat. You might want to make it an in, in, in character conversation. Okay. You know, so the silence doesn't kill everything. Uh, Phoenix, right? Yeah. Do you want to find a creature quest? I mean, if you really want to. Mm. I personally want to do a rescuer tame. Tame? Taming. That sounds fun. Yeah. I don't know if there's any tame quests. There's always a way out of a fight. Not always necessarily is it fighting. Just a suggestion. Something to keep in our brains. Approaching the city, um, a lot of the people seem just really happy. Like, they're all obviously low-level, but they're just accepting, like, really low-level quests. Just trying to help out around. Everybody seems really happy and cheery. Seems like a nice city. It is nighttime, though. Should we rest and then find a quest? Mm, I mean, we did deal with the battle, and then we stayed awake, double death, and then, you know, all that shenanigans, so... Mm, we could try to get a break, or we can at least get an idea about what's available first, and then look around before resting. James? I'm personally exhausted, but... Uh, if you guys want to look around or something. Yeah, I'll just come along. I don't really care. Yeah, I guess we need rest. <laughs> but do we even have I money? Like, we we <laughs> but do we even have money or currency to really get a place to uh, stay? From what I understand, I some quest towns have housing stables, which means that they're free. And this isn't, um, you know, a place to stay. It's just, it, it's like the last town. Like, it's just a moving point. A checkpoint, mm-hmm. in a way. Uh, some also, of the... I sh- Sorry, go ahead. Sorry, no, I cut you off. Continue. The only cities that are really not like that is um, the main cities of the state. Mm-hmm. Okay. <clears throat> 
then let's go find a place to rest. Yeah, while we're doing that, Clover, what were you saying? Oh, I was gonna say, I swear we all got, uh, I think, copper? Yeah, copper coins from a quest. Yeah, I got three. Do we all have three? I maybe. I got three. No, I don't have anything. He says looking around his bag. Um. You might not have been there for that one. So where is it you guys go? I'm gonna start looking around for a place that'll let us just have somewhere to sleep. What, like an inn? Yeah. <clears throat> um, walking into an inn, the uh, everybody's just there. Nobody's at the inn. Though, sorry, I got the burps. <laughs> uh, nobody's at the inn, except for the um, the front desk guy. <laughs> I do walk over to the front desk and just say hi. How can I help you? Me and my friends are looking for a place to stay the night. Yeah, I kind of assume that's why you're here. Um, uh, are you looking for singles, doubles, triples, what? Um, I guess double. Wait. What's the difference? I'm sorry. A single is one bed, a double is two. Doubles then, please. Uh, he looks at you, at all four of you. Ghost, James, um... Ghost ain't here? Ghost's body is there. Like, unconscious. Oh. I'm... He just looks at all four of you guys. I, I really think that, that if, you, if you can... I don't know. Just do two different runes that can do doubles or something. <laughs> he just looks you up and down at a moment of silence and says... Okay. Hands you the keys. The keys have the numbers on them. And, uh, okay. So... I take the key and hand the other one to James. So from the previous fight, you guys all got two XP. Yes! <clears throat> oh, uh, Ghost leveled up. Oh, yay! Okay, so, um, all right. After a while, uh, you guys wake up and it is nighttime outside. Um, the no? city is nice and calm and quiet. Nobody's questing out at night. Everybody either went home or stopped questing. Blah 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 blah. blah. Um, some people are out, but these are like. These are like people that you would see on TV, like. S tier questers and like top tier people at night. I'm guessing you guys all meet in the lobby or something. Yeah. Alright. Sounds like a plan. Good evening, everybody. Hello. Did you get some sleep? Yeah, I had some pretty good rest. Good. Pleasant dreams, I hope. What about you, James? You guys have dreams? What? I said, how'd you sleep? Oh, I... Fine, I guess. 
That's good. And Ghosty is still asleep, so they're enjoying a good rest. <laughs> I'm surprised. Didn't we come here when it was turning nighttime? How come it's still night? It might be early morning. I do look around for the time. Um, it is currently 9 p.m. Oh. <laughs> How long did we sleep? Probably not long then. Is we all slept for like seven hours. Got a nice. But wasn't it nighttime? It was nighttime when we got here. Uh, I don't. I yeah, I guess so. I don't know. I'm so confused. Time on it is so weird. For seven hours. You um, still sound like tired. I, I'm exhausted. But I'm ready to go. Do you want and or need more rest? Do you think I'm gonna say yes? No. Why would you bother asking? But I want you to be honest. No. no. <clears throat> uh, he pulls like, pulls down um one of those fucking things where you pull it down and it zooms up and it re reveals like a whiteboard behind it those mm. he pulls that and it's got this giant board of like a bunch of quests with like a scroll wheel and you can scroll through all the quests and the scroll wheel is just so small you can just keep going and going and going forever what in the world this is a quest board is there you can, a search you can literally download one on your phone if we all got one None of us have a phone. Yeah, I was about to say, I've literally never, ever, ever, ever had a phone. Ever. And your parents suck. My dad was very nice. Thank you. You're welcome. Probably. <laughs> I didn't like how genuine that you're welcome was. It threw me through a loop and calm. Very disrespectful. <laughs> I was not ready for that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so you guys Phoenix, why don't you... he just stares at you with like these I'm so done eyes <sighs> I just do the thing where you like zip it lock it put it in your pocket you guys said that you wanted to go do a creature quest. <clears throat> yeah. I'm guessing both of you have creature analysis. No. Okay. Clover, you're probably going to save the day then. What creatures would be the most calm to tame? The easiest? I'm guessing leviathans are way out of the fucking question. <laughs> Hello? Clover? Uh, I just reach into my pocket, unlock, and unzip my mouth. Um. <laughs> <clears throat> I was gonna say, Phoenix, you seem to get the most antsy when it comes to any form of quest, so I feel like you should pick it based off of a difficulty that you're comfortable with. And based off of what you're comfortable with, we can crank it up and push you out of your comfort zone little by little from there. No, it's okay. How hard do you want this quest to be? Not too hard. 
I don't think so. Just a point where it could, just a point where it could be a little fun to do. That's what I'm saying. I don't want you to be freaking out the whole quest. <laughs> Sorry. Four? Not being able to keep my cool. Everybody's got their own level. <sighs> From my experience, in the end, it all comes down to, well, experience. I'm gonna shoot myself trying to, like, listening to you guys trying to make each other feel better. <clears throat> Please, pick a quest! <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna look at the quest. What kind of quests are there? Make up something. Oh, dear. <laughs> make up something. I'm trying to... Okay, hold on. I'm trying to think. You know what? Forget your thinking. Um. Oh, are you rolling dice or spinning a wheel or- oh. No, I'm gonna go to fucking chat GPT since <laughs> chat nobody GPT. in here can think. We gotta use a robot to think or think now. Give me- <laughs> No, fuck it. Forget you guys. <laughs> Give me signs you out. Y'all don't get chat GPT. So, what kind of quest are we looking at? Like, you guys mentioned creatures, right? Like what, a hunt? Um, no. Labeling? Identifying creature classes? Scientific research? Fucking... I don't know. Uh, rescue? Something. What's the scientific research about? He just looks at you. Just deep in the windows of your soul. There's different forms of types of scientific research. You have the, the geological, the bio, chemical. So, okay, okay, yeah. Is it okay if before, I make something up? Before we, um, go into the different types of... What kind of geological research are you doing on a creature? <laughs> Hmm? There are some earth creatures that are made of- I do earth. not need you. <laughs> I do not need your mob mentality bullshit, okay? No. You, Phoenix alone, Clover, you are silenced. What kind of geological research, apart from the abilities of a creature, are you fucking doing on a creature? None! None! I didn't think so! I'll answer it for you! None! Okay. Biology. It's called biology. <laughs> he just walks to a different room and then walks back out. You know that triggered him for some reason. <laughs> that made him like flip the shit. And then he comes back calm. It was worse than trying to talk to my father about time travel. His eyes widen as you just see this red crack growing down his face. My jaw just snaps shut as I just point to a quest on the board. What quest do you point to? Hey, look! A disturbance in a sacred grove. It's inhabited by state like peaceful creatures, but recently they've been acting agitated and violent. Let's go investigate and figure out what's going on and try and help. The sacred grove? That's cool. That sounds cool. Oh yeah, whoever feels like they need to get intimate with their microphone, please, uh, go do it somewhere else, because I can hear you. I'm pretty sure it's Morgan. Sorry, I, I, fidget with, I fidget with the microphone a lot. <laughs> just make it, it stop. It sounds like you're just, just inhale, make exhaling it into it. <laughs> <laughs> need a reason just make it stop <laughs> um <laughs> man i find very creative ways of saying shut up uh okay so you guys are gonna go to the sacred grove in order to what find out what's going on with this disturbance and stuff like that mm -hmm. figure out why the peaceful creatures are acting violent okay that's a plan um Morgan, do you agree to this? 
Yeah. Perfect. Uh, going off into the location that the quest decides to give you, um, the quest will reward three XP that can be changed into ability XP if you wanted to. <sighs> I'm going to go ahead and delete these. Sacred Grove. Fuck it. I gotta make you guys a player sheet. Oh, I already did. Okay. <laughs> Quest. Alright. In the Sacred Grove, there's been a disturbance. Um, off in the distance, you immediately notice that there's a large hole in the middle of the Sacred Grove. In this beautiful large landscape full of flowers and um, just bustling life uh, in the middle there's this large circle of dead grass and these purple flowers sprouting up what's all that about um, you guys see James is kind of glowing. Like, the red cracks in his face are reacting to this, whatever it is. Hey, James, are you feeling okay? Yeah, I feel fine. He just turns to you. Why? You feel perfectly normal. Mm hmm. Yeah, am I not supposed to? You're glowing. Oh, shucks. No, I mean literally. You are literally glowing. Oh. That too? <laughs> mm, that too. Dude, shut up. <laughs> I didn't do anything. All I did was agree with you. Don't agree with me. <laughs> Weirdo. <laughs> I just blew. <sighs> okay, um, what would you guys like to do in the Sacred Grove? I'm gonna go investigate the area of dead things. Um, investigating the area, this hole has a lot of eyes inside of it. They're all purple eyes and they're just staring. Oh, that's horrifying. It's almost like he's inviting you in, though. Nope, still terrifying. Even worse, actually. This looks familiar. Almost like what spread from the dark heart. I do pick up a piece of um, the perfectly fine grass and kind of just toss it into the circle. It dies. Not immediately dies, like, Flash is dead. It's almost like the life was being sucked out of it. And then these Does the circle veins, get any bigger? And then these weird veins and vines um, start wrapping around more grass and getting slightly larger. Yeah, I back up. I like a lot. <clears throat> How do we stop that? I'm not sure. Did something that lives in the earth eat a dark heart? What would have to be part of the earth to really eat a dark heart and turn into that? A worm. You only gotta eat part oh. of it. A worm? You know, how big, you know how big a freaking worm would get if it ate a dark heart? No. Leviathan. Leviathan levels of big. Maybe even Titan. If it's yeah, lucky. But... If it's... Oh, if that's lucky or unfortunate or... But oh if it'd gosh. be a worm that go into that size, it could make the hole, but that wouldn't exactly explain the eyes, would it? 
Titans are worms that have multiple eyes or something. Titans are oh. apex animals. It means they're above predators and prey. Like, they have no reason to hunt. That things around them just give them food. It seems like all these creatures are straight up avoiding this hole. So we can rule that out. Oh. Hmm. Maybe it was a person. Like, like a person. Like somebody got it? buried? What? <laughs> What'd you say, Phoenix? I was saying like do like do you think like someone caused it or something happened to the person to create it? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Um <laughs> maybe both. Oh, like an altercation. How do we try to collect more about it if it can't let us touch it? Well, we know it drains life. That's helpful. Guys, it drained the life of a blade of grass. Yeah, we got that part. Slowly. Yeah. James, you want to step in it? Please don't. I'm joking. Please don't. Please don't. Please don't. Please don't. Don't do it. I know. Actually, yeah. No. Don't. No. He takes a step and he's fine. I just keep watching. Then he died! No, I'm kidding. Um. <laughs> yeah, no, he's completely fine. Uh. What do you guys do? Is he glowing? Yeah, he's glowing brighter. You turned into a nightlight or a flashlight. I guess you were a nightlight before. Now you're a flashlight. Dude, what are you talking? Sorry, about? I'm gonna stop talking. You're now. glowing yeah. very more brighter than you did before. I Aww. think you might have a type of connection that's reacting to the thing below you. Maybe. I wonder, did you say something about, about you with the dark hearts? Do you think it might be connected if this might be giving off to that point? Yeah, that's why I said the dark hearts, because that seems to be the only thing that really gives James this kind of reaction. Then again, they've never really made you glow before, not that I've noticed. Not that I was, like, staring at you or anything, but... <laughs> mm. I mean, once something is created to another thing, sometimes it can become a reactant. When it's combined with another, sometimes it needs that certain assistance. What, like a stick to you fire? Yeah. yeah. Huh. And then when you add something near it, it engulfs more. Or it changes the color. It only grows. I didn't... Like throwing a rock in a volcano. I didn't think about that. Huh. So, maybe that's the same about me, that, that it was just an ember at first. Hmm. I am almost 100% certain that if either Phoenix or I decided to take a step in that circle, we would take a lot of damage. I would imagine or that. Or die. I would imagine that you guys would be fine. I don't, I don't know. Phoenix, you want to give it a go? Don't actually. I'm actually just joking. Please do not. Please don't pull a James. I know oh, James yeah. is fine. Don't do it. Oh yeah, let me just pretend to be James. I can manage to do anything. <laughs> Honestly, man, it's indestructible. <laughs> I don't know if you noticed, James. The things just kind of decide not to mess with you. I don't know. And if you when noticed, they do, nothing happens. I don't know if you noticed, but I do not stick around. <laughs> I do not fuck around, and I'm not gonna find out. It's as simple as that. Things don't mess with me because I disappear on you guys. That's true. I boot scoot and boogie whenever there's a threat. Okay. Gee, thanks. Good to know that you will always have our back no matter the situation. Huh? 
Oh yeah, I'll have your back when I know I'm safe. So, what do you guys want me to do? Like, just chill? Just vibe out while we uh, die by the purple grass? The dead grass? Just dig. Dig? What the fuck am I gonna do? Dig? What do you mean, dig? Um, I'm just gonna try to look around near the surround area. Maybe if whatever, if there was an outer source that caused this, there's bound to be a certain tool or something left behind. So I'm just gonna go switch around. What do you mean? Well, remember what I said before, if you were to cause a fire, you'd have a match. You have one source, you have another, so maybe it, I should just try to see if we, if there's a match lying around. F figure it, figuratively. If you do, the match if you'd you be looking for enough. is the dark heart. I just mean like a trace of something that could distinguish some things. Because maybe this isn't the only spot. Or the only trail. If you could get high enough, you could see if there were more. Instead of walking for so long. Something yeah, is in this hole. We could fly. Huh? Something's in this hole. Or someone. Really? Yeah. Said it once and I'll say it again. Dig. <laughs> I'm joking, by the way. <laughs> so... You guys gonna I mean... Come in, though? You guys gonna... Come in the circle, or stand out there? I go walk in the circle. You're fine. You feel fine. Okay, I'm gonna join. Yep, you feel fine too. Okay. See, mass hysteria doesn't get us anywhere. Yeah, but... You know what? You know what, Phoenix? James is right. He should lead us. We should listen to every word that he says from now on. No. <laughs> no, that's, that's really dumb. We should look to him for guidance at every turn. That is really dumb. That will get everybody killed. That's the first thing you've ever said, Clover. Mm, I don't know about you, that, but... You. I don't know about the worst thing, but it's definitely up there. Uh, yeah, y'all look at that. Uh, looking over the edge, y'all see this thing? Sitting in the middle Pretty. of the hole. Definitely hostile, but pretty. It has a very beautiful color. It 100% has a dark heart. Hmm. Probably. How are we gonna get that? Probably. He gives a hundo present and then says, probably. Just to be 102% sure. What is it you guys would like to so, do? Let's think this through. Things about Dark Hearts so far seem to be relatively mindless, right? And when you cut them open, it only causes them to spread more, right? Um, I don't know much about Dark Hearts. From what we've seen, me and you, Clover, whenever... It's like the Dark Heart is festering an explosion. And whenever you release the pressure on that explosion, whatever was in there booms out like it normally would. So it's not like it creates more, it's just releasing what it's already had. If that makes sense. Yeah. Um, but through freeing... The guy, the guy, the guy with the dragon, the guy with the companion. Afton. But by freeing Afton, we also learned that harming the body of the of the thing that it's taken the form of doesn't actually harm the creature. Right, like a shell. I don't know why we took that risk with Afton. I feel like that was really dumb on our part. 
we got so lucky. Well, it was either Better. us or him, and quite frankly, I would choose us. Not to seem shallow, but... It doesn't. Self-preservation. said it once and I'll say it again. I don't like that. Man, I feel like you guys aren't moving without me. No, I'm just trying to sing. I mean, I could dive right in head first if you want. You got a sight. Yeah, you can't survive fall damage, can you? Mm. Didn't think so. I got a sight. <laughs> I didn't think so. Does that look more like more than a 15 foot drop to you? Not really. No. But I control a piece of string on my um, hair piece. What? I got a little hair piece. I control uh, one of the ribbons on top of it. Oh, this? Okay. Yeah. Alright. Uh, and then I look for a place to attach my marionette's whip so that I can just safely lower myself down. Oh, wow. Holy shit. Huh. That's really smart. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> Damn. You gave me, you gave me a rope. Also, I really like whips. That's, that's, wow, you like whips? That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Why? You know what's it's ironic like, about that? You know what's ironic what? about that, Nicole? What? No, I'm not saying that on video. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, shit. Uh, all right. Um, I guess I'll do a natural strength to, okay. So, it's a two. Mm. I'm just going to roll for, to see how well you hold up your body weight. Eh, it's it's hard. It definitely strains out your arm a little bit, but um, you do get down safely. And Morgan, I'm just trying. To, I'm actually trying. I've been trying to like think about something that I can do because I could do time, but that's not slowing me down. I can still hurt. Um. Is there anything around me that I can use that can support my weight? I'll redescribe the area. You are in yeah. a large meadow, like grove, uh, surrounded by forests and trees. There are several creatures wandering around. Anything you think you can find in a meadow that might help you support your weight or what have you, that's up to you. Mm. There's no shame in asking Nicole for help. Remember, your character does have oh. telepathy, so I don't care if you talk out. Like, speak. Oh, perfect. Yeah, I'm gonna use that telepathy clover. I don't know how to get down. Were you in my head? You can read faces, facial expressions. She's in my head too. Oh wait, no my James, get out. See, like I said, you can read facial expressions now, please. I'm looking for you at you for guidance. Uh my whip is still attached. I didn't stop controlling my thingy. So, if you want to, you can see if you can touch it. It only does up to, like, what? It only does up to... 16 damage. It can reach 16 damage. 16 damage. So, if it does hurt, it probably won't have that if you just poke it. And even then, it probably won't hurt you unless Clover actively wants I it to and hits you with to. it. Yeah. 
You know, unless Clover, like unless Clover turns to the game. dark side and just freaking, whoosh, you know, <laughs> wait for you to start dangling and just let go. Y'all need, we need to stop talking about the same time. <laughs> no kidding. Sorry. No, you're okay. I'm not saying it directly to you, Lou. We just both did it, and then you both did it. <laughs> James just anyway, says okay, from the hole. Can you get down here already? I'm trying. I'm trying. None of you guys know when the fuck James got down, but apparently he did. Nobody I'm saw it. All of you guys off in the corner in the in the hole see this. Just staring. I will, I will use lifeline tether. As everything goes right back to normal. The wolf is growling, but its voice echoes against the uh, cave walls. The cave is only about 15 feet in the ground. It would have hurt a little bit. You might stub your toe or freaking uh, pinch your elbow, you know, jumping down, but you probably would have been fine. I know. Glad I tell you that now, huh? <laughs> um, what was I saying? What were you saying, Nicole? Lucas? I... You said lifeline tether. Oh yeah, I use lifeline tether. On. The the string. The oh ribbon. okay. All right. I already let go of the piece of cloth. I just. <laughs> Nicole, you're muffled. I'm sorry. I just saw the thing thingy. Where did it go? Where did it go? This... There it is. All right, um, this wolf is staring at both of you guys. This is going to be simple turn-based combat um, until you guys can either manage to defeat the wolf or tame it or kill it or do whatever you guys do. Who goes first? We'll roll initiative. Morgan, Nicole. Oh, this is the one time Nicole hasn't gone first. James. All right. Nice. So it's Morgan, Nicole, and James. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Do you want me to show you the picture again or something? Sure. Am I able to have time to kind of ask for advice among players and just kind of brainstorm. You can have time to do whatever you want, but the world will be moving, albeit slower, um, but still without you. <clears throat> so this wolf will move every few seconds or minutes. Um, okay. Which means you are on a little bit of a time crunch. This isn't a boss fight by any means. It's just a normal fight for th like 3 XP. You're fine. I will okay. say, keep in mind that this is a creature, um, I don't know what level of creature, but it could be easily tamed, possibly. So don't immediately come off aggressive, but also keep in mind that this is like a shell for the actual creature inside. Yeah, they'll touch creatures yeah, can't I be so, tamed just yet. Yeah, so harming the shell won't harm the creature. I'm aware of that. I heard you guys discussing it before. I'm just trying to think because I do want to come off as passive as well as one plan to, but I don't know how to. I mean, I can't really do it until uh, like a radio thing because I'm mean, like as if a wolf could actually, you know, communicate with someone like that. I could stop time to loop around, but then that would be a little, you know, wasting a little bit too much on energy. And then there's the tools, which I'm not trying to to scare someone by turning into a big wolf and then possibly threatening them. Or using the clock, so I'm trying to be passive. Um, 
Oh yeah, you would be able to turn into like a like a smaller wolf, like a normal sized wolf. Yeah, I could turn into a normal sized wolf, but that would be a little more territorial, and that could you know be a little more aggressive. And I don't have anything on me physically, like item wise, that can really be offered to show sign of peace. Besides, maybe the shackles on my on my character's wrist. Okay, that shows really? On my right now, I think peace um, is like the last thing that we should be considering at the moment because this this creature is veil touched. Girl. We get rid of the veil first. Worry about peace later. Okay. Fair enough. It's still your move, Morgan. Okay. Yeah, I know. Okay. Uh, the reason I, I mentioned that is because the wolf does start uh, circling around to the right. Mm. Gosh dang it. Lou, please, can you, like, give me some kind of advice about what I could try to do? Mm, since we're worrying about peace later, uh, don't you still have a weapon? I have a black hand's claw, and I turn to a That's not a weapon. <laughs> it can be used like a weapon. <laughs> no, it can't. I'm joking. You're welcome. <laughs> no, it can't. So it is sharp. What exact How exactly does your turn into things work? Turning into a wolf? Yeah. How, how does that work? The necklace can transform me into a black wolf. Oh. Where did that necklace go? It's there. <laughs> oh. We're gonna go ahead and change that. Yeah. There we go. So you think I should turn into a black wolf? Mm, probably not. Probably not? Okay. I don't know what I could possibly have. Or what I can do. The wolf begins to step forward, starting to growl. Okay, huh? I'm stopping time for a moment. <laughs> oh, you can have my scythe if you need a weapon. I have wash rinse, so... You have extra... You have when extra did you get the wash rinse? Maybe. No. No, I'm insane. No, you, Never mind. Yeah, you don't. You can uh, have my scythe. I have whips. <laughs> okay. Just keep also, in mind it is a dex based weapon. Also, you didn't need to you you didn't need to use Soul String Snare in order to get a whip. Like you already have one from like you already have one. Automatically. From where? Always. Oh, oh. Cool. My dexterity is a five, will that be okay? My dexterity is an eight, it's close enough. You're only At five least it'll get me after. somewhere. In my opinion, it'll get me somewhere. At least then I have something that, that, that I can use as like you know. Oh my dex is all wait. Yeah, never mind. So okay. So if I freeze time now, I can just go take your scythe. <laughs> uh slowly, but the wolf does um begin to continue walking forward this time a lot more aggressively and lower to the ground again Clever slowly me. because morgan uses her time abilities yeah. uh just another warning from the dm that the longer that you guys continue to sit here and talk the more the world will move around yep there are limitations as to how much i'm willing to let slide okay Okay, just hold on. Wait, because from the talk and everything, and then the suggestions, and then what well, we were trying to plan to do, and then I did one thing. This so, is as so. much as I'm willing to wait. Like, I'm letting you, you know, do as much as possible. Morgan, you froze time, or you slowed it down, and now you're walking over to Clover to get her sight, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, wait a minute, that means. Yeah, I'm gonna go grab it. Now I question <laughs> if I look fast to everyone. <laughs> yes, you do. You appear very quick to everybody that's within the bubble. Oh yay! So that now, so now I got super speed. 
Um, but yeah, I got a scythe. I'm gonna go into a defense position the, to be ready on to attack if he comes near me. The wolf backs out of the bubble and begins like orbiting around it. There is a faint green glow that the bubble lets off in its radius. Is my turn over because of the scythe, or...? No, that was just a side action. Oh, okay. No, all, I gotta, all I'm gonna kinda plan to do is now I have, like, a weapon ready. I'm kinda keeping an eye on, on the wolf. So you're and gonna I'm gonna release the bubble because now he's kinda, like, out of the bubble. Kinda. So you're gonna skip your action? Yeah, I'm skipping my action for now. But at least I got something ready for the next time. Alright, Nicole? Uh, I want to use Marionette's whip to try and whip it to wrap around one um, its front left leg. I hope you understand that doing those complicated attacks will always have a high dex requirement. I'm just going to slash at it with the whip, just try and hit it. <laughs> you sure you don't want to go with your never, old thing? No, no okay. Yeah, never uh, whipping, whipping the wolf immediately. It gets, like, it immediately backs up. One second, let me set up the battle sheet. 26, holy shit. As it does lunge for you, Nicole. <laughs> uh, Nicole, we're gonna go with your action first and to see if Morgan wants to do an interrupting action afterwards. Mm -hmm. Um, it's jumping at me? Yes, with a 13 on its attack. Hmm. <laughs> I'm not sure what it would be called, because it's like, I want to try and, I guess, def- Describe it to the best of your ability. Like, you like deflecting, you, but- You want to be able to deflect with uh, your marionette's whip. You would need something, um, like- Solid. Uh, no, not just solid, but it's it's the same reason you wouldn't be able to deflect with water abilities. Like, because the thing would just pass through it. Unless you can move your water fast enough to make it, f like, completely solid and not malleable, then that's, that's fine. But... Is it closer but to my left or my right? It's straight down the middle. So I'll dodge right. Dodge right. With your agility being seven. That's not bad. Fourteen. Okay. Um yeah, you just barely miss. Uh Morgan, is there any action that you would like to make while the wolf jumps at Clover? I'm a slash. You're gonna yeah, slash at it. Slash it. With your dexterity being a five. five. A five, which is below the requirement. Fifteen. Um, you barely miss. Like, you only cut it a little bit. As it turns to you and it looks like you just pissed it off. <laughs> it's going to lunge at you now. Ten. What would you like to do, Joe? It does lunge. I want to step back offline and kind of swing it again at his head. Which direction? Not that it really matters, just which direction. To my right. 
And your dex is a f uh, rolling for your agility first. Five, holy shit. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so it doubled you up. Okay. Which means that the wolf manages to leap on top of you and pin you to the ground. Uh, you will take one roll of damage when it bites your shoulder of 13. Good thing I got the thing to heal everybody's constitution shield. So, no, that was used. Yeah, I know. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay, you were being sarcastic. Um, So now, <laughs> Nicole, you're able to interrupt. You would have to pass mm -hmm. up its 13. Well, not interrupt. Essentially, you'd be saving Morgan. Or helping her out. Oh. Uh, hmm. It's it's pinning Morgan. It's on top of her. I'm assuming I'm not close enough to like kick or punch it. You guys are only like 15 feet apart. You could just run over. Because mm -hmm. the only reason I say that is because I don't want to risk hitting Morgan with the whip because that would do a lot more damage to her. I would assume Seven. if okay. I miss. So. so you have yeah, to get you have to get above a certain value in order to actually get over there in time before Morgan takes another point of damage. And you got exactly the value. <laughs> I put in my head. Okay, so you get over there in time as the wolf is like opening up its jaw to bite down. Uh, Clover. I wanted to give a driving front kick to its upper shoulder blade so it's harder for it to whip around and try and bite my leg. That will be a strength check with zero. Three. Nice. Uh, you only piss it off as it just turns to you. Morgan, there is a moment of opening where you're able to do something as it's got its head turned to Clover. How, how long is the scythe? Because depending on how you dropped big it. that... Yeah, you fucking... Huh? You dropped it. Like... I dropped it? It pinned okay, you then I guess you I'm dropped gonna, it. I guess I'm turning into a wolf and I'm biting at his neck. <laughs> You're gonna turn into a wolf. I'm gonna turn into a wolf. I wanna lock onto his neck. So transformations take 10 seconds. I'm doing a luck roll. That's okay. Okay. You know how luck rolls mo work, Morgan? I roll a number between 1 and 10. If you get your lucky number, you do it perfectly, and you get to narrate how exactly it goes down. You roll your unlucky number, I get to narrate exactly how you go down. Okay. This is either going to go really well, neutral, or shitty. You are not able to interrupt a luck roll, Nicole. I was going to ask, am I able to delay um, the wolf's reaction at all? But you, I guess that answers my question. Go ahead. I think a transformation into a wolf would be a little obvious. So Yeah, but if I'm hitting it in the face with a stick. Eight. Um, the radius to your lucky number does not matter. Uh, it notices the transformation... But you manage to transform in time. Um, it is going to try and attack you, though. Try to. All you have to do is pass over its dex roll, which is a five, in order to um, be able to roll yourself out from under this thing. So its attack is an eight. What would you like to do, Joe? I want to... Um, I want to kind of tackle it off and, lock, and like I said, lock, on, lock my jaw into his neck. Okay, that's two actions. So, oh. you want to try and flip it over or you want to try and bite it? Yeah, I'm going to try and bite it. Why not? Yum, yum, yum. Twelve. Uh, you do manage to bite the bottom of its jaw, but you do not do a lot of damage. And... 
Oh, never mind. You do quite a bit of damage. You deal three. Um, it does uh, rip its jaw out of your mouth. As, yeah, it's only just getting madder. The purple cracks are starting to grow, covering its shadowy body. As its shadows stop going off into a mist and start to become more solid. And now you can see teeth protruding out from the darkness of it. As it is letting out this really low, like, <sighs> hum. For a very long time. Nicole, what do you like to do? Oh, uh, right. Day. Nicole, or Morgan, you stand up. You're good. Okay, cool being. Nicole, you said you pick up the scythe? Mm-hmm. All right, you guys have this. You guys take away the scythe and add it to your inventories. I'm not doing that. Make sure to do it. Uh, okay, so you pick up the scythe, and what do you want to do? Hook, um, under the wolf's belly. What? Like. What are you saying? I, I'm just gonna go for a slash, like a little slicey slice. <laughs> well, okay. Um, the wolf has first reaction due to the distance between you two. It rolled a 21. You still want to go for a slice? Because it's going to counterattack. Like, it's going to attack you. Hello? You all right? There's no amount of changing my action that can save me. <laughs> Unless you have a stat high enough in order to guarantee that you don't get hurt. My highest stats are my mind, constitution, and ability. All of which you're able to use. Except for your mind. Hmm. As the wolf is jumping through the air, it's about to land on you. I have a question. Um, is my yeah. ability able to affect its teeth? No. Okay, I didn't think so. Why would I allow that? Uh, yeah, I'd like to go through with my slash then to answer your previous question. Thirteen. Um, didn't think so. The wolf, instead of pinning you, this time bites into your arm. You take... Eight points of damage to your constitution shield. Uh, it definitely hurts and it rips some skin, but it's not terrible. Did I drop the say? No, it bit into your left arm. Mm -hmm. Believe me, I would have told you and if you dropped the say. Is it still my turn? Um, yeah, you can go for a counterattack or follow up. Oh, I was gonna guillotine it. What does that mean? Use the scythe to cut off its head. But I feel like... Cells only go oh so far, so I don't know if that's the best idea. We can try that. Um, let's look at your stats real quick. With a dex of 8, 20 plus 8, um, 56, no, you wouldn't even be able to, you wouldn't be able to do that. Mm -hmm. Not even with a critical roll. Mm -hmm. um. You guys are close though, I'll tell you that. In that case, I'm just going to go for another basic slash. 
Five. Um, nice. You miss. Morgan? Okay, let's see. <clears throat> Wait, can I speak wolf now? No. <laughs> I just started. Not. Those are random. Thoughts. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. I'm not going to use anything with that knowledge. I just. I didn't think got about that. Thought. I didn't. I actually didn't think about that. But um, <laughs> now that you brought it up, no. <laughs> no. Nah. Okay. Anyway. Um. Maybe in a future. Oh, I didn't close myself. <laughs> it was a stupid thought. Um. Yeah. Okay. Just gotta attack them, right? Yeah. Uh. Lou, where should I attack him? Belly, throat, face. Oh, I did forget to mention. Um, and I will type this down. Because I meant to do this last time. But I don't remember why I didn't. As this transformation, you cannot use your abilities. During this transformation. Oh, okay. That's understandable. Uh, specifically, you can't use your temporal <clears throat> abilities, your time. You can use your, uh, like, communication. But not... Yeah, but I can't. Yeah, you can't slow down time. Yeah, no, that's understandable. That's an understandable limit. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna go for his neck. I I'm assuming him you're down. gonna try and bite. Yeah. I'm, 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 I'm. I'm glad we had a sound effect for this very intense <laughs> battle. I just keep doing that noise, I'm sorry. 21! Fucking shit, bro. <laughs> if you rolled high on dex and you roll low on strength, I'm laughing at you. Two. I mean, still, like, you're gonna freak it the fuck out. What?! That was near not perfect. <laughs> um, what the actual fuck? What? Hold on, hold on, wait a second, hold up. Actually, hold on. Holy shit, what on fucking earth just happened? <laughs> oh, that's crazy. Oh, man. You know, just, uh, just me doing some shenanigans and it works out. <laughs> oh, wow. I feel That's, happy uh, about it. You know, I don't know. I don't think I can come back home now. Holy shit, okay. Oh, Alright, here we go. Oh, okay. You just rolled two 21s. In a row. Got me. Yeah. You guys are now in critical access territory. That means, Nicole, if you get the best roll that you can possibly get, a critical roll would end the fight immediately. <sighs> Morgan. Yeah. You lunge and bite this thing and rip off a part of its okay. neck as it turns to you with this face full of these purple cracks as you see a little purple like orb appear in front of its mouth as it's holding its mouth open uh, me. I'm gonna get ready to jump out of the way three uh, it shoots a tiny little laser that doesn't do anything oh. Oh. <laughs> that doesn't do anything Nicole what would you like to do I'm gonna get distracted where that laser goes <laughs> What'd you say, Nicole? I want to cut off its head. You want to try to cut off its head? I want to try to cut off its head. Fourteen. Um, going for the scythe, it it bites onto your scythe and fucking throws you. It just straight up throws you across the room. This is the third 21. I'd like to mention, this I is the third... The dice just doesn't like me. This is the third fucking 21 that we've got so far. <laughs> this is 21 number three. 
So yeah, Clover, you get freaking launched. Take four points of damage to your constitution shield. 38. Okay, uh, Morgan, what would you like to do? Oh! Okay, no, there's not. Um, Morgan, what would you like to do? Mm. <sighs> there's only one thing that I can keep doing. Just try and keep biting it? I'm gonna keep biting it. I'm gonna keep tackling them. Battle of the Wolves, nine versus his 16. Yeah, 16? he just grabs okay. you and throws you, too. Wee! Welcome to the gang. Which you do, yeah, too. Yeah, welcome. Yeah, both of you guys are sitting next to each other. Which you will take That's six two points, points off of uh, health. Oh. All right. Sorry, I forgot how things work. <laughs> Um, so yeah, you two got thrown. Actions will reset here. It'll be free up until combat restarts. Again, the wolf is taking a breath. Because you guys just like, um, severely pissed it off. I'm moving forward, it doesn't get to breathe. But, but, but it gives us time to breathe, we gotta be polite. <laughs> I already breathed within the time it took you to get thrown. <laughs> Seeing your approach forward, it waits for you to get out of range of Morgan. It, you can tell it's about to do mm. something. Seeing this, I do decide to stick close to my friend. Then it doesn't do anything. I'm gonna get closer. Move with me. It's plotting. Okay. And I don't appreciate it. Okay, I'll move with you. Can I understand her? Does she speak English still? Telepathy. I need to. Yes, Nicole. Yes, you can. Mm -hmm. And also, you can speak. You can speak normally, Morgan. Oh, beautiful. Um. Y'all don't know what it's doing, but it's definitely doing something. Holy shit, that's the next 21 that we got. That's crazy. <laughs> Where? Uh, your natural reactions, which is just your agility. What is it? Wait, where's the 21? My agility is a 7. Over on my side. Shows an oh. 8. My DM screen. 17, not bad. Not good enough, but not bad. And five. Okay. Uh, an invisible wall of energy just kind of like hits <clears throat> you guys. Uh, it does not feel good. It's definitely irritating. Um. Okay. Yes, it does push you two back. By the way, as the wolf is on the other side of the arena. How big is the arena? Like, 40 feet in diameter. Oh, okay. I'm Not too big. Gonna go back to moving closer now. You're gonna keep moving closer? Because I can't do anything from 40 feet away, yes. Alright. It's 24, 30. Or actually, I take that back. Mm -hmm. There is something else to be completely away. Yes, there is. I want to take a look at the surroundings of the hole to see if it's standing under any rocks. No. No, it's not. But it is standing away from the light of the hole. Which is probably why you can't see whatever attacked you. It's using the light to its own advantage. It is an intelligent animal. 